Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, I'll be showing you how to make a basic friendship bracelet. This is a really easy beginning bracelet that uses a forward knot and turns into this cool spiral pattern. Let's grab our supplies and get started. One of the great things about friendship bracelets is that they only take a few simple supplies and they're very inexpensive. So the first thing you'll need is some embroidery floss. This comes in every color and shade under the sun. Pick out your favorite colors and I'll be using four different colors in this tutorial. You'll need a button, scissors and a ruler, and then I like to make my bracelets on a clipboard. You just need to hold the bracelet down while you're creating it. So strong tape or even a safety pin would work as well. Okay, the first step is to measure out your embroidery floss. You'll need to measure each piece to 50 inches. And where I'll be using four different colors, I measure each one to 50 inches and then fold it in half. And we're just going to create an overhand knot, creating a loop up at the top. This is what we'll be using to slide through the button closure so that we can easily take our bracelet on and off. So by folding each of the four 50 inch pieces in half, we'll end up with eight strings to work with and each will measure about 25 inches. So take your little loop and hold it down with whatever it is you decided to use. I'm just putting mine under my clipboard here and then I'm going to separate it so I have just one strand that I'm going to pull out to the left side, so whatever color you want to use first, and you're going to create a four. Four like forward knots by pulling the string to the left and then take it across and over the top, the group of strings on the right, creating a four, and then holding the group of strings on the right, take the end up through the hole and slide the knot up to the top creating your first knot. So create a four by taking your string on the left to the left at an angle, across your group of strings, through the hole, and sliding the knot up. And this is just a basic forward knot. So you'll continue these steps over and over and you'll start to notice that the strings at the top, the knots start to create this cool spiral that wraps around your bracelet. To create a smooth spiral pattern, when my knots start to form to the right side of my bracelet, I simply take my thread that I'm working with, so in this case my blue thread, slide it under the other seven strings, and then I continue to make my fours. This will ensure that my spiral wraps around the bracelet smoothly. To alternate colors in your bracelet, simply take the string you are working with, add it to the group of strings, pick out a new color that you'd like to use, and start to create forward knots with that color. You want to make sure that your knots slide evenly to the top of your bracelet. Continue alternating colors in whatever pattern you'd like and you just follow these steps until you get the bracelet to the length that you need. You want to make sure that it wraps around your wrist and just barely matches up so that when we add our button closure, the bracelet will fit nicely. Once your bracelet is the length that you'd like it to be, knot off the end with a simple overhand knot and then pick out two of your strings and we're going to loop these through the holes on the button. So one string through each hole, pull it snug down to the top of your bracelet, and then using the two strings, tie a square knot. So left over right, and then right over left. We're just securing our button to the end of the bracelet so that we can take our bracelet on and off. To make sure that my button is attached securely, I like to take the two ends that I just tied in a square knot and loop them back through to the back side of the bracelet.
Once you have the two strings threaded to the back of the button again, tie it off in two square knots. Now simply trim the ends of your string, and that's it. You have this cool spiral friendship bracelet, fast and easy to make. These have been a lot of fun for my daughters to make for their friends, especially with the holidays coming up. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. I would love to hear from you. Give this tutorial a big thumbs up if you liked it, and check out some of my other tutorials. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.